mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers, Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies Ooh. in early 90s when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find no. me. Unless you checked the lobby, hustling was my hobby. Damn. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. Uh. DVD Ever TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Let's just jump straight into this one now. Um, this is about a situation that supposedly happened with Jay Z and Haitian Jack. Now, um, this thing actually been circulating the industry and just circling the streets for years. People always speak on it, but never really knew the facts of it. So I'm gonna get into this situation a little bit. Now, if you don't know who Haitian Jack is and you've been hiding under a rock. Haitian Jack is one of the goons from the 90s that was in the industry, and he had a lot of dudes shook. Now, some people be like, oh, nobody was scared of Haitian Jack. He was an informant. Just because you're an informant and you're telling the police stuff don't mean you ain't applying pressure on dudes in the streets. If I tell on 100 people a day, but kill 100 people a day, it's going to be people that scared of me. Now, supposedly, Haitian Jack was out here robbing these rappers and extorting them along with King Tut. And they called themselves the Black Mafia. They put their arm around you and a piece of that jewelry going to come off. A watch, a ring, a chain, something. Now, you may even know Haitian Jack name from being involved with Tupac shooting. And he used to have a close relationship with Madonna. Tupac even mentioned Haitian Jack on Against All Odds where he came at him. See, they used to be cool and then they fell out. Haitian Jack also had relationships with people like Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was cool with all the gangsters and Demencio. Haitian Jack just was around in the 90s. He was one of them dudes. When you go to the club, if it's a hot spot, he was going to be there. If you go to the tunnel, Haitian Jack is going to be there. And Haitian Jack also was involved with the whole sexual assault case that Tupac caught too. But somehow their cases were separate or whatever. But he definitely was on that line with that too. Haitian Jack was around, you get me? He came here in the 80s and, you know, he got picked on in school. But when he turned a teenager, he started putting that work in. And now that I gave y'all a brief summary of who Haitian Jack is, if you didn't know who he was already. Now, it's a story that been going around for years. I mean, probably since the beginning of the DVD era. Maybe before then I first heard this story. But basically, supposedly, Haitian Jack and Jay-Z had some words. Haitian Jack felt disrespected, and he roughed Jay-Z up and pinned him on the wall. Now, some people said Haitian Jack smacked Jay-Z up. Some people said he choked him. But it's all just rumors. Now, Derek Parker did mention this in his book, The Notorious C.O.P. He's the hip-hop cop and all that, and he has a book with a lot of real information in it. It's not just a book full of lies. So, you know, he got some valuable information in there. So um, let's read the page out of it, speaking on his situation. Haitian Jack was a flamboyant type of guy, still is, adoring himself with gold chains and furs and always driving the finest Mercedes sedans. Above all, Jack flaunted his close relationship with rappers like Tupac, hit all the celebrity parties and reputed to be friendly with Madonna. Jack music big contracts and activities. He also managed various rappers at times, give him an additional outlet for his criminal pursuits. <laughs> Jack continued his one-man assault right up to today. In past months, he allegedly shot a patron at L.A. nightclub. Jack was also rumored to step to Jay-Z in public and pin him to a wall after a rapper supposedly disrespected him in some way with no retribution. As well, the feds recently brought Jack back to New York for further questioning about Tupac's 1994 shooting incident in New York Quad Studio. Now that's a little something touching on this situation. Don't say nothing about Jay-Z being smacked or choked up. But even though that's the rumors that have been going around, you get what I'm saying? But he touched on it just a little bit. But like I said, this book is not no made up stuff. It got some good information in it. So I hope I gave y'all a little information on this whole Haitian Jack and um, Jay-Z um, situation because a lot of people been hitting me up about it. And also some people been in my comment section talking about this hip hop book, The Notorious C.O.P. So I hope I answered some questions for y'all. But tell me what y'all think. Do y'all feel Jay-Z was smacked up and choked by Haitian Jack? 
You know what I'm saying? You know, I feel he did. I feel he was. Or maybe he just got pinned up and roughed up. You get what I'm saying? But he definitely got hands put on my field because Haitian Jack wasn't choosing and he just was a bully in the industry at the time. But anyway, tell me what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. More content coming. And I'm out. One.